is going on guys my name is Tim Rosswick and today I wanted to talk about how to 10x your learning now 10x sounds a little gimmicky uh, but basically and I'm not sure you can even 10x it but I want to talk about how you could increase your uh, learning and the, the way to like learn more stuff and really like learn from stuff not just intake information because a lot of us on the internet sometimes we we just intake the information in a blog article or a video or whatever it is I definitely do that sometimes I just kind of try and collect information rather than actually learning stuff learning skills and kind of uh, building upon stuff but I want to kind of share something that's been on my mind for a while and it's definitely kind of stunted my learning it stopped me from learning a few lessons that I should have learned earlier and uh, it is understanding this kind of concept has kind of helped me learn more from stuff uh, that I otherwise wouldn't have. So I want to bring your attention to uh, biases that we have. Uh, cognitive biases sometimes get in the way of uh, how we perceive the world. So a lot of us think that when someone says something to us um, that we are understanding the information as it was said as it was communicated and that then we say something back to them based on our interaction and what a lot of people don't realize is <clears throat> everybody's mind is completely different everybody has been through a different set of experiences everybody has undergone a series of you know challenges in their life and it's led them to where they are so when they say something a lot of times communication is not what it seems they are saying something based on their viewpoint uh, and you may or may not be receiving it the way that they mean it there are a thousand different meanings for anything that could be said especially between people in drastically different careers like programmers and artists or programmers and musicians or you know different kinds of, of people that are in different skill sets but then there's another layer <clears throat> there's the internal layer that's like you not only can you be misunderstanding what's said, right, because the words were meant a different way based on that person's different experiences, but on top of that, uh, there's a there's like this bias in your head. There's like a filter right here in front of your eyes, in front of your ears, that everything that you take in from the world goes through that filter, right? So everything, every piece of information, whether it's the news or an email or whatever it is, gets sent through that filter and then you understand it through your view of the world. For example, if you think the world is a hostile place and someone, I don't know, drives by you on the side of the road and gets you all wet because they go through a puddle, you're going to say, you know what, fuck that guy, the fucking world, fuck this world, this world sucks, I hate this planet. If you think that, you know, people are generally good people, and someone does the same thing, you're probably gonna say, hey, that guy probably didn't see me there. You know, he probably didn't see me. This sucks, it's a shitty situation, but you know, it wasn't his fault. He didn't mean to do that. He didn't see that. Same event, different scenarios, depending completely on your mental filter, your state, your state of being, how you see the world, how you interact with the world. It gets deeper though. <clears throat> Because even people that understand this this state of being, this like filter that they have, these rose-colored glasses, uh, as some people call it, um, they understand there's a bias there. They understand that there's, um, you know, if you see people that like look like bullies from middle school or whatever, you're more likely to dislike them. Or if you, uh, just a thousand examples like that. But let's go a step deeper. Because now, not only does your state affect the things that you intake in your brain but on top of that you can have multiple states you exist as multiple different uh in multiple different ways in multiple different sets of emotions and your state can completely affect how you take things so i talked about this a little bit with uh, john sanmez in our interview yesterday but i want to kind of flesh it out because i think it's something that he brought my attention to but also that like I've learned a lot about over the years because when you are angry or you are upset and you read something like an email, 
everything that is said in that email has no tonality. It has no body language. It has no inflection of the voice. It has nothing. It is just text. So the way that that text is written can be taken any way. And the way that you take it is based on your current emotional state. So if you're angry, it may sound angry. If you're depressed, it may sound um, like the other person is depressed. Like it just goes through that filter, right? So you see things through that lens. And it's one of the reasons why things like depression are so hard to get out of because if the world looks gray and everything is going through a gray lens, how are you gonna tell somebody that's depressed that the world's not gray? That everything they see is through a gray lens. I've been there. I know what it's like. It robs you of all happiness. It just it's this deep dark place and climbing out of it is very hard to do. So <clears throat> how does this help you learn things? Because we just went super deep, right? I just went and turned into like a fucking, I don't know, like some kind of uh self-help guru. But um how does this help you learn more? Well, it's simple. So one of the things I've learned, I read a lot of books, right? I read a lot of books, I watch a lot of um informational videos tutorials that kind of thing i learn a lot of stuff i i have to i feel like uh learning is is how i get better and i always want to get better i want to be the best version of myself and one of the things i've realized is that rereading books that i've already read gets me something completely new each time and that can seem crazy right it's the same content in the book same exact thing in the book the first time as when i read it the second time but my states were different. My filter was different. My life experiences were different because time has passed. So when I reread books, it may be the same information in that book, but the way that I understand it, the things that are important, the filter in which I see them through, the lens that I have, the current mental state, all of those things are different. So when I reread a book, Everything that pops out to me is completely different. And this doesn't work for all books because some books are mostly fluff. Some books are just, they have one main idea. And if you get the idea, it's like, okay. But there's a lot of books where there you can re read them endless amount of times. Think and Grow Rich is one of those books. Uh, if you haven't read it, I highly recommend you do. But I've read that book over and over again. And every time I read it, I get something new out of it. Um, and I do this a lot with information that I want to learn. I do this a lot with game design uh, lately uh, with um, especially storytelling because it's something I'm really struggling with with phobia. Like my storytelling is, oh my God, I didn't realize how hard it was. Um, so I'm trying to constantly go through the same material in different states with different uh, filters, with different, you know, uh, life experiences and all that stuff. And I feel like I learn a different either I learn the same thing a different way or I learn something different entirely by just reconsuming that same content um, at a different time like when I'm well fed I'm not hungry I'm not sleepy when I'm uh, <laughs> after I've completed something like the finish Friday thing doing eight games in eight weeks it completely changed me it completely transformed the way that I thought about completing a game and it was my objective to show people that completing a game wasn't a big deal but I didn't realize how big of a deal I was making it. And then after doing eight games in eight weeks, I was like, holy shit, this isn't the same thing. So everything that I read about finishing from that point on, um, especially like I talked about this in the John Thomas interview too, like I was different. I felt like I felt like a Charmeleon turned into a Charizard at that point. Like I'm no longer me. I'm some evolved version of me and everything that I that I intake at that point gets pushed through a different filter. It gets pushed through a different me. I resonate with different stuff. And so if just, if you read something or you research something or you look into something, you're trying to learn something and it's not for you, don't get discouraged. Cause one, it might just be your state or your filter or your, or your, you know, the time in your life or whatever it is. But also maybe try and revisit that content later on in, in a different time in a different state. Um, you may you may find some value out of it that you didn't think you would see uh, later in life. And um, I, this has happened to me so many different times. And like, I know there's an addiction out there <laughs> to information, especially on the internet. I, I do it too. I'm addicted to all the information that's on the interwebs. It's all there and I want to consume it all. But 
sometimes it's better to reconsume the same things and really learn them because I think there's a difference between consuming content and learning right and like one of the things that has really helped me is by really trying to learn this stuff as I'm learning about storytelling I am implementing everything I'm learning I'm getting feedback okay this doesn't work I wake up the next day, you know, maybe I was frustrated yesterday. I'm going to go back through the same thing. I'm going to try the same thing again, a different way, see if it works. Um, and this is contrary to some advice, right? Like, <laughs> this may seem a little weird, but it's something that's helped me and I wanted to share it because it's, it's helped me really learn things that I didn't think I would learn. And it's helped me pick up on things that were skipped over. When, when I was trying to learn the subject originally, or I just wasn't ready to hear, or my life experiences uh, didn't lead me to a point where those things resonated with me. And I think it's it's really helped me a lot, out a lot. So I hope it helped you. Uh, if it did, please leave me a like and comment down below. If you have a tip to help other people learn, or someone's helped you really learn things uh, over the years, uh, or even to overcome some of your biases, and filters uh leave that down below because i again i learned just as much from you guys as you learned from me so once again i'm tim russwick and i will see you again tomorrow